wind's eased a little now and it, it does make a difference as to how how much easier it is to fish with the pace, fishing a rig like this. There's another one actually pulling the elastic out now. Seems to be about the same, all the same stamp there. Oh, a bit bigger. It's a nice looking comet. Bit on the small side for a pace fish, but a nice fish all the same. Common carp of about four pound. Hi, I'm Andy Finlay, and today I'm on phase one of Makings Fishery to do one of my favourite methods on the pole, fishing the paste. Paste is a very seasonal bait. You, you'll catch on it year round, but the best months are from sort of July to September as the water's been warm enough for long enough and the fish have got a good appetite. Without further ado, let's just go through the process of the way a bait, I put the paste on and also feed, feed me pot and ship out to pot it in. So the first step, today I'm having to feed a lot of pellets to get the fish sort of competing so I can catch some nice decent fish. So for that reason I'm using six mil pellets and I'm filling my paste pot nearly to the top. Incidentally you'll notice how I'm using the, my forearm of my right hand just to trap the top kit onto my two legs so that it's not going to tip over as I'm baiting up. I've put as many pellets in that pot as I can, can. As I say, I'm trying to get the fish competing here. So the dry pellets are in the pot. What you need to do now is just tip a bit of water on them with the, the, the bait box of water I've got on the tray. And what that does it puts a coating of water around them so when you pot them in they go straight down they don't float for a few seconds on the surface and drift away and then go down they just go straight down where you intend where your intended fishing area is and then once you've done that the next step is to dip your hands in the water get your fingers nice and wet and pick up a decent sized piece of paste something like a small walnut and sort of gather it together with the th your two fingers and your thumb and once you've done that just put a dent in it like so and then put your size 10 hook in it and really press it in so that you feel the hook on your fingers of your left hand and trap some line in it as you make it up like so that way it will stay on a lot longer so there it is all gathered up again a nice big lump of paste there and all you need to do now just to put a slimy coating on that to make it smell nice if you're a carp. You just dip it in your bowl of water, same bowl that I tipped the water into the paste pot. There you go, nice and soft on the outside. And then just simply place it on top of the pellets and try and press it down slightly so it won't jump out of the pot as you're shipping out. There you are, nice full paste pot, 
full of pellets with paste on the top ready to be shipped out. 